properties of exponents. This is the Prentice Hall book on page 417. This is the property that you need to know, dividing powers with the same base. This is the actual property. For every non-zero number, A and integers M and N, A raised to the M power over A to the Nth power is A to the M minus N. This is an example right here at the end that I want to be able to show you. So you have 3 raised to the 7th power over 3 to the 3rd power. It will give you 3 to the 7th minus, I mean 3 to the 7th minus on 3. So you would end up with 3 to the 4th power. I will also show you um, in a minute how to do the same problem another way in case you can't remember the rule. Okay, so we had this example. It says simplify 3 to the 7th power and 3 to the 3rd power. This is the batting powers that had the same base, okay? So it ended up being 3 to the 7th power minus the 3rd power. So we get 3 to the 4th power. I want to show you another way that you can actually work this problem. Okay, 3 to the 7th power is 3 7 times. 3 times 3. Let me make sure I have enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 3 to the 7th power. Over 3 to the 3rd power. That means 3, 3 times. 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? This is another way that you can actually work this problem. Now, if you divided 3 by 3, you would get what? 1. 3 by 3? 1. 3 by 3? 1. What are you left with? 3, 3, 3, 3, which is really 3 to the 4th power. See, we got the same answer. Okay? So this is another way to do it. For some people, this works out when they actually line them up, and then they can see what they're doing. So this would be your answer. 3 to the 4th power. Okay, now we are on a um, property of raising a quotient to a power. For every non-zero number, A and B, and integers M. So A over B, parenthesis, raised to the nth power would be a to the nth power. Remember when you have your parentheses, you raise everything to that power, and b raised to the nth power. And this would be an example right here with actual numbers to take a track. So 4 would become, so we're going to raise everything to the third power, 4 to the third power. 5 would become 5 to the third power. Okay? So this would be 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. And this will become 5 times 5 times 5, 125. So this would be your final answer. Your instructions would say simplify. When I come back, I'm going to give you the assignment that you need to do in your workbook for this section. Okay, so now this is the lesson I need you to do, I mean assignment I need you to do for 8-5, Division of Properties of Exponents. Page 103 in your workbook, and I want you to do 1 through 10. Please make sure you've written down all of the notes for this section when you turn it in to me. If you're homebound or if you're someone who's going ahead, you're going to need these notes in this assignment for your grade. Okay, now we're 